Greetings and welcome back to Exodus Borealis. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we may have a tiny, tiny, tiny problem of no food. Uh, hopefully we're going to get this sorted out, but man, we are lacking in warehouse space as well. We're in fall. I'm hoping that they're not going to die by winter, which should be soon. I think we're at sunset, I hope. I don't know actually i don't i don't remember which side the sun sets on so we might have a tiny bit of a problem anyway i do want to build a few more storage barns because yeah i think i'm wondering if one of them got destroyed at some point because i thought we had four thousand storage and now we have three thousand but what i'm gonna do is i'll just put a couple in oh god where do we put them i guess nowhere is safe uh so maybe let's just put them here Sure, let's do two storage barns. There we go. Make one high because it looks like we are actually at the limit, like massive limit there. And people should go ahead and build that. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna keep on looking at our tower, our tower area here and kind of build stuff around. Now, I think what we need to do is start going toward the right side and planning out our defense that way because I don't, really want this to get closer to the town here um and these towers still have a bit of range on the right hand side not a lot not a lot but if we add towers to the ends here those will definitely help us so i want to just start off we definitely desperately need this storage barn to happen uh, at the moment we're struggling a little bit with trees we're getting some wood we have two lumberjacks and um, two charcoal burners as well. So that's a bit of a struggle. I'm thinking maybe we need more wood farms, uh, wood mines, uh, as we call them, of course, because this is a KOS channel. And it looks like people are just leaving the gems outside because there's nowhere to put them. Definitely got to get, oh, hungry people are happening. All right, so let's see, we have the sawn fruit is getting harvested. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight maximum farmers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in eight maximum farmers because it seems to be one farmer per field. And then, um, but they also need to plant these things. I think it was it Fibera leaf. No, that's in spring. I think it's the mushrooms that are planted in winter. So yeah, that's a thing that needs to happen, but we are gonna get this food going on very, very quickly. But folks, I really need you to build this barn. We have uh, 19 wood remaining, which is okay. Uh, let's see, healing hut is good. All the things are okay-ish. Oh God, we are having another problem over here. Okay, hopefully we're gonna get this going. Um, hmm. oh, if these are gonna go this way, I think the play here is to now make walls um that go let's see where do we want to have a gate i think this was going to be our gate section but i think we want to have actually it doesn't matter um because people can get in this gate and go up if they want to okay so that's fine that's just fine so let's go here here and corner wall because we do have the things that go um, that are going to hit here. Not many right now, but they will hit some of them. What I'm wondering is when we do our blast towers, these guys have a limited range. Oh, this is perfect actually. Cause I can do this side and then this side and they're kind of kind of overlap a little bit. That was mainly the issue that I was talking about. I think it was last time where these corridors are too long, uh, because when you have a blast tower, uh, here, uh, yeah, or here and here, like this is great because it overlaps, it's good. But this one and this one, they only overlap by one square and that makes me feel like, oh geez, that corridor is way too long. So it would be nice to have those a little bit more frequently happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there for now. And then I'm gonna make them red walls, but I want them to finish this storage hut first or a storage barn, there we go. Okay, storage barn created. This is good. So we're gonna get our food in there, hopefully. Oh, other barn is also created. That means, um, what does that mean? Let's see, this is gonna be a lightning boost tower. I guess we need steel right now. Oh, oh, this is nice. Is this new? This looks new. 
these seem brighter. Like, oh my god, we don't have any. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I think we might be looking at building another smelter, perhaps. Um, at the moment, we're really running out of charcoal. That is a struggly thing that we have going on. These are looking at, they just need steel mostly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this over to, should I change it over to steel or wait? For, I'll wait for a tiny bit more, I think. Then we'll change it to steel. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we can put these as walls here. Just right click those and go up here. And then where is that? That is the last position we can build. So our tower is going to go there, empty space here, and then here, here is going to be buildings. Okay. So we can do a blast tower there. Yep. Right there is good. And then this one can be converted to a blast tower. I love that you can choose the rotation here. That's amazing. That's great. Oh, a life gem has been discovered. Hooray. We really need the sun gem though. Come on, give, give, we want. One thing that we can do is cut that back on things like mind stone, which uh, I think we definitely want to do that. Let's see, ore, gem. We have tons of ore. We might even stop that as well. Just go for, oh, where is the stone? Jeez, I can't read apparently. Gem, ore, gem, ore, gem stone. I didn't click on that one. Okay, gem. Let me make that gem. Okay, good. Okay. Um, <laughs> looking good. Looking good. We have lots of mushrooms going on. Our uh, weaver's doing well as well. I'm going to go ahead and take off the farmers. They have done all the work. And we're going to put that back to five. I think five is probably enough here to take care of everything. I may actually hire two more lumberjacks just so we get a little bit more lumber. What is this? Oh, mortar. Jeez, I need to fire that person for a bit. <laughs> that, that's like, whoa, uh, too much. Way too much. Because we do need the wood for construction uh, and not just charcoal burning. Uh, we had an issue with too much of the feasts and mead and stuff being made. So what I can do is I can put in, let's see, this is the no food hut. There we go. Let's make cooked food here. And then Great Hall, let's do none. And Brewery, also none. I don't know if the food is less uh, meals or if it's more efficient. I can't tell at this point. So we'll want to figure that out later. Oh, total level of 700. Ugh, okay. Dudes, can you please do this wall, please? Please, please help, help. Okay, they are getting slightly murdered here. This is looking absolutely great. Whoa. Nice. Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah, things are happening. All of these things are just getting killed dead. I like how it's like very lit up and fireworky and steamy and it's like really cool. Really cool. Alright, what I can do here though, here we can definitely use another blast tower. I've had a couple of comments of like, you need to build more blast towers. Yeah, I know, I, I know. <laughs> I want to build them. It's just sometimes it's not always the best decision at the time. So I'm getting them now. Put that on high as well. And the blast towers are excellent with the wind thing. I want to upgrade this one. I'm still so curious about this one to be if they blast them backward or if it's physics uh but again magic magic we, we can't discount the magic in this game <laughs> because that's a thing let's see oh an ice gem was discovered i am really actually worried about food right now i feel like we might need more um definitely more crops as in we might need to get some temporary itchy root thingy thingies okay let's get some crops made here. How about that? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. And th these are going to be, I think, itchy root because those have two harvests. It's not a lot of food, but it's something. Because I feel like those definitely need to be made. 
I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I don't know if they'll do these first. I hope they'll do these first. Fire gem discovered. Yay! Oh, this is so great. Terra and fire and wind. We're really focusing on these guys. So this is excellent. This is really good. Now let's see. Lightning, though, we've been using, I think, as boost towers. So that's okay. I was just looking like, oh my god, we were doing lightning. Okay, we have, wow, uh, three, four, five educated people. Some of them superbly educated are in the workforce. And then we have three, four, five born. That's great. Um, I'm worried about housing. Wow, we're 16 of 17. So I'm thinking we might need more builders. Yeah, just objectively more builders. So I want to build a couple of houses here. I think we could do this if we want to follow the slope. Eh. Eh. Why? Too rough. Too rough. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, can I do it this way? No. Okay. It's hard to see the uh, landscape here, but there's kind of a hill and a dip and a thing and a stuff over there, so... I'm just going to try to put them where we can. Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Okay. Um, I don't know. I hope they do the fields first. They should be easy to make. And I think I definitely want to add two more farmers full time, at least. Okay, folks, can you please, uh, builders, please? Hello? There, builders are happening. Good, good. That's the thing. Uh, let's add another. Oh, we have four builders. Let's add one more. Uh, research. Have we done everything? Almost everything. Let's do gem offerings. Sure. Let's just get all the things that we can get here. I'm actually afraid of running out of land. I guess we have a fair bit here, but we definitely need to make more... Uh, tree farms I think let's see we can go let's go tree nursery here as uh, I guess normal uh, and yeah high priority is fine on those because they don't I don't think they cost anything to build they don't need like wood or something so they're good okay so these are being planted right now with some fruit good good Looks like those are, they're all getting worked on. Excellent. Okay, so now these are being, actually, if we can do sun fruit, we might as well. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to change them all to sun fruit. I forgot that they were planted in the spring. Oh, no. No, we wanted them specifically itchy. I mean, that sounded strange. <laughs> we wanted them itchy. Yes. Let's do two, four itchy and two sun here. Uh, because the sun, or the itchy is just to keep us going during the months. We right now have only 318 stuffs. Uh, let's see, the brewery I put to none. I think we need to take, oh, we need a cook. Let's have some kind of cooked food. Um, all right, is that looking okay? It looks okay-ish. So, okay, hopefully we can get to other stuff soon. I feel like we need a second smelter, but the problem with the smelters right now, and the reason I'm not using a second one is the charcoal. We don't have enough charcoal here. I'm thinking that that's a big kind of issue with stuff right now. Oh, wow. This is... Uh, kind of want to put it over here somewhere. We have the monument there, though. Can I place this here? I guess I can. Oh, it does work. Uh, the outline was red. I guess that was for the priority, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and make these two houses normal. Okay, an ice gem. Wow, the, we are discovering gems like nuts, like crazy. But it's also good, like I said, to limit what's in your storage sheds, because you really don't need multi-thousands of ore in there. You just should redo your priorities, I feel. Okay, 830 are approaching the gate. Trolls. Okay, armored trolls and armored minotaurs or minotaurs, depending on how min-maxing you're doing this. See what I did there? Humor. Mm. <laughs> Silly. Um, but I feel like it might be time to switch over to steel because I would love for these buildings to get an upgrade. Oh, wow. This is... They're not doing too much damage to those health bars, and I guess that's the armor. 
But if we look, we see, wow, they have three different debuffs on them. And this is where the elements really start to shine. I know a lot of people were so worried about stuff uh, in the comments, but, well, they might be worried, you know, valid to be worried about these. I don't know. Um, but these are also getting blasted quite a bit. Uh, those other towers were doing work, so that's nice. Oh, this should probably be a blast tower here. Okay, this needs to be converted to blast. And this one... Yup, confirm. This one needs to be a gate. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. We have... Oh, this is rough. But it's okay, they are dying. They are very much dying, so... Oh, epic music. Epic music is great. Hooray. Oh, we're throwing everything we have at them, but it's still kind of iffy, I think. Alright, so, good, good. Everything is working so nicely here. Okay, so we have our farms. We, these all are planted, which is nice. Yay. This farmhouse is being constructed. Now we have people working on our walls here. So we have this thing. I think what we want to do here is... Um, the tricky part of this thing is... What I wish is that we could click on a something. I don't know if it's statistics or... Do we have a thing here? What I want to do is... Okay, so this is what I would wish for this game. I would wish to have a setting where I could say keep 20 iron in stock and then the rest you can use for steel. As in, if one place is making iron, I don't want all of it to go to steel because that's what's going to happen. Um, because some of these towers and walls and things, they do need iron. Well, these don't uh, because they've just been... This one does. See, iron too. Um, but they usually tend to need like 10 iron each. Those are kind of done. But it would be nice to have to kind of like, I don't know, yeah, be able to say that as in colonists reserve this many for stuff. And if we're at zero, uh, replenish the supply of iron first. Okay, so let's see. We need to have two smeltery people. There we go. Two at the smelters. Yay. Might need more general workers as well. I'm thinking, let's look at students as, as well here. Let's see. Nobody's homeless, but we have kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is getting to the part where we might want to have a second school. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build one. I'm going to build a school. Let's see. House, school. Oh, nope, nope. Night, night. I didn't pause the game. My bad. I'll turn it to speed one while we're working on this. Okay, here we can put our first school. Or our next school, I should say. Have a, a section on this side of town. I think we'll make this normal. Don't need to have it fancy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also build some roads. Because those will help us. Oh! Oh, look at this! Does not impact invader speed. <gasps> nice! Okay, that's great. I didn't know that information, so this is great. Okay, so where are we facing these houses, actually? This one faces this direction, so we can go here, like this. Okay, and I think these face, oh, there we go, this direction. So this one, does that work? Yeah, it does. It just goes right underneath the house. How convenient. <laughs> so we'll just go straight in and then just do a path for each of these homes. Okay, and then looks like I did manage to get all the doorways here correct. So let's just add here those pathways there. Are these... they do look like... it's hard to kind of tell the front of these guys without zooming in. Okay, they do have this archway door, which is very nice. It's beautiful. Okay, it looks like there are people walking this way. Yes, to the fields. That makes sense. Um, so I'll just do it this here, that way. Um, and then... do I do a second path? Hmm. I could cancel part of this path, or I could just do a second path to go through to the uh, the buildings there, the storage places. Let's see, this one can just, we'll just do a fancy road here because it doesn't actually do much, does it? 
Um, yeah, smelter is... This is awkward, isn't it? It's like, ugh. KOS trying to fit stuff in, isn't she? I'm not actually doing work here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that is actually looking kind of okay. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not okay at all. Um, let's see. They can pass through this building, even though that road looks a bit strange. But I think this will help our uh, people move around a little bit better. I hope. Let's take this path up this way and into this school. And hopefully this will help them also gather some uh, tree stuff. What I can do is, since this does not impact the invaders at all, we can just make these paths also uh, paved so that we can uh, go a little bit faster in these places. I think the, one of the better ones here is going to be just up this way. I don't know whether they're going to choose the right or left side here uh, to go up, but we could just pave both of them. Wait, why did I... Oh, I did this all on high. No! Help! Oi! Okay, it'll be fine. They'll just make the paths and it'll be fine and we can survive another raid. It'll be okay. When they're, they're, it just takes a tiny bit of stone, right? No, it's just priority. Oh, it's stone four. Stone four. Four stone. So that's good. Oh, now we're gonna have to get more stone again. No, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's convert one of the ore mines to a stone mine. Because right now we have tons of ore. And uh, yeah, that'll work nicely. Okay, so gem offerings is now complete. Let's go to research again and do the grand house. I don't know if I'm ever going to do a grand house um, because of the possibility of losing the houses. Let's do an update to a nice house here. I think we'll, we'll try to just upgrade because it feels like we are getting more and more people. Um, I don't know, we're getting safer. We're getting really safe with stuff. So let's see, job management, we have three workers right now, five builders, seven farmers. Is that enough farmers? Maybe. I don't know. I hope so. It Maybe not, though. Maybe not, because, like, this area is struggling. You know what? Maybe another farmer. Let's do eight farmers. <laughs> How many fields do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so six and four is ten, plus several, plus another ten, so we have twenty. 20 fields is 8 enough for 20, and especially if some of them don't get worked on. That's the question, really, is, like, if they miss, like, weeding... I, I guess they're, like, weeding around these plants and stuff. If that gets missed, is that important? I don't know. Let's see. Another thing we can do here is make a, uh, a brazier in this field section. I feel like that would be a good thing. Let's put it on normal. I don't know if it affects anything, but it doesn't seem to. So I'm just going to put it in. And people can kind of warm up if they need to. It's going to be kind of important. Okay, 656. We have all resist... Oh, all element resistant Minotaur. This is going to be rough. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about this. Because, yeah. I wonder if these attacks are only elemental or they have an additional elemental attack this is uh something i'm not sure about i guess we can see what happens uh it looks like some of the health bars are depleting hooray but this one guy in the front he is in a bad mood he's like yo don't even touch me man does he get knocked back oh 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 they do they get staggered look at that it doesn't push them forward but they do definitely get staggered. This guy is going to be a pain in the socks. But now we have everything focusing on him. So maybe it'll be okay-ish. Okay. No, we're going to kill this dude, I think. So even though he's resistant, I wonder what the resistances are. As in, is he like 100% resistant? Because he is affected by the elements. Oh, he's dead. He is totally dead. -ed. Dead. -ed. Not a problem. They has been killed. It. Yeah. Dead. Did it. Hooray. Okay, so that's good. That is very, very good. I'm happy about this. This is fantastic. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to convert this one from, um, instead of steel, I want to make iron again. Okay, research next. Ice mine. Go, go, go. Hooray. Alrighty. Um, 
Yeah, what do we do now? Um, we keep on going. So we need to reach a certain level of the monster waves before we're going to get that infernal item that we need here. The infernal power item. Uh, so that's a thing that we need to kind of be aware of. Let's see, here we have... Let's get these boost towers to high. Um, and then, let's see, this wall is... Okay, that just needs stone. And then we can start planning out other towers to be boosted by these, uh, these towers here. Let's see, this one is a bombardment... Wow, why is that in a bombardment tower? Oh, that's right, because this is the second row of stuff. So this is a Terra Bombardment. This could be really good as a Terra. We do have a gem for it, so let's upgrade this high. And then this is another... Uh, let's see, we could do... I'm planning on doing the side towers as the wind, because the knockback or the stagger is so good. I'm really impressed. What we can do here, though, is we can make this a fire tower, uh, because that will keep the um, the debuff on them, the elemental status effect there on them, so pretty good, pretty good. I think, should I trust this? I'm gonna upgrade it to a Terra Greater Mine, sure. Yep, do the thing. Do it. Do it, do it. Okay. Oh, we have zero charcoal again. No, nigh, bad. Sad times. All right, so Cookhouse, is Cookhouse using charcoal? Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere is using charcoal. No. We definitely need a much greater tree thing going on. Let's build another charcoal hut. We can build that here. Okay, goes. Can we overhear it? We can't overhear it, but then we won't have a mine over there. I'll just build it here. Um. And then I think we need more tree farms, like massive amounts of tree farms. So what I could do is, do you, do you, do we put them here by the huts? Like these, um, you know, the building huts. Maybe I should do that next section. Maybe I should put one storage barn like here. That's a good idea, I think. Shove that one there and let them collect the trees and chop them down and put them in here. That seems good. All right, so let's do this. Let's do some more tree nurseries. Four of them. Coniferous. Yeah, two years. That's right. That's what we want. There we go. Good, good. Okay, greater ice mine. And after this, after these two are done, we can fire the researcher. This is great. That seems really good. Oh, wow. The food is depleting rapidly. This is not ideal. Definitely not ideal. I'm thinking maybe... So 20 fields. Maybe we need 9 farmers. Yeah, maybe 9. Okay, 916 approaching this gate here. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's see them do their own thing here. Okay, okay, things getting killed. This is not, I love this. They're like wandering around in confusion, like, oh my god, what has the KOS done to us? We're staggered, we're doing things, oh no. Let's see. Okay, and dead. Perfect. All right, that was easy peasy, no problems. Also, I wanted to let you know that something uh, that the developers shared with me, when you downgrade a building, as in if you decide to make this not a um, elemental tower or maybe change a boost tower to something else, you do get the gems back. If a building is destroyed, however, like the mine, you get a 50% chance of getting the gem back. So yeah, there are definite... Um, drawbacks to having buildings destroyed. Imagine that. Um, okay, I want to finish these first, and then I'm going to send our people to build more towers, because we definitely need more towers here. 
Um, but having these synergistic effects is crazy good. Um, having these, these three different things is just really makes the world work so, so, so well. Let's see, do we want to, I think this one can be a, uh, maybe a fire tower. Yeah, let's upgrade to fire here. Because we have more fire gems now. And then I think for here, maybe what I want to do is have boost towers along this wall. And then have regular towers along this wall. Because these boost towers are going to also affect these lovely little guys over here. And what I'm thinking is doing some of them, obviously some, as uh, life boosting. Because we have two, two of those gems. And then others as range boosting or um, thingy thingies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are words. <laughs> those are words I have chosen to use. Goodness knows why, because they didn't come out well, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, we had two people uh, dying of old age. Do we have enough workers? No, we do not. Let's take off one builder and put in the smelter person back. Um, we could take off a miner, perhaps. Charcoal burners, too. We have no mortar masons. That's fine, because we don't need them. But yeah, a terra gem. Oh, this is great. We're getting those terra gems. Oh, wait, wait. Did it go from the terra mine? Hello? Hello? The gong again. We're getting all this gonginess. Also, the, if you're wondering when you need, when you're going to get the infernal power item that we need here, we need to clear a wave that is 1,440. So it seems like the waves are getting up pretty high. Uh, without needing to like worry about it too much. So we're going to try to just do things here in a natural fashion and keep on spreading the love of towers everywhere. Uh, yeah. Oh, life greater mine. Is that it? Are we done? Sun. Okay, we need to do sun. Yeah, still no sun gems. That's one we are definitely lacking. Let's see. We have two charcoal huts, right? So after this research, we can fire the researcher. I do feel like we have way too many somethings going on here. <laughs> I don't know what we need to, like, reduce. It feels like, oh no, we don't have enough food or we don't have enough this or that. But the food is going up substantially. So here we're going to change these to sun fruit because I feel like we have enough without having to um, uh, harvest multiple times a year. So that's good. Wow, many, many gems are being discovered. This is kind of great. So what's going on here? We need, okay, we're getting wood. I'm just like trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, 810, that's a lot. So we have armored trolls coming in here. Because our people can't do much while the trolls are in here. That would be, okay, they are armored. Are we doing anything to them? Tiny bit, maybe, 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 maybe not. I don't know. Wow, these are, Wow, the armor on these is so strong. Jeez, are we debuffing them? We are. We are debuffing, but... Eh, uh, armor. Ow, we're not doing good. Okay, okay, we're gonna just chill with this. We're gonna try make everything good and nice and toasty. I feel like the game is really ramping up speed here. It looks like we are killing a couple of them where they're being targeted, but others are just... Ay, we might have issues here. I don't know. We'll see. That one is getting deaded. These are starting to get deaded, so that's good. I didn't notice if they had any elemental resistances. Okay, they're split now into two groups, which is kind of good. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. They're dying. They're dying. Hooray! <laughs> this is good. They are actually dying. Hooray! I think it's funny that these lights lights like blink. That's kind of interesting, the boost tower ones. Okay, so seri we need serious, serious things here. We need to definitely, definitely go here and fix things. Uh, this is blast tower. Yes, let's go with that, please. And I guess... Huh. We might do another... Should we do a blast there? Nah, I think that's okay. 
Okay, so these blast towers, we do have wind gems. So I'm going to upgrade these to wind towers. So we keep... No, no, no. Cancel. Wind, please. So we keep those elemental buffs on. Uh, we definitely need those. Okay. Wind, yes, high. How are we doing with steel? Do we have steel happening? We do have steel. Okay, so let's see. This one is going to need iron, I think. No gong, please. No gong. No gong. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we had oh, we have a scroll bar now. Hello. All right. One, two, three, four, five new people in the workforce. Hooray. Poorly educated. That's not good. But we already know about that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Seven children. That's a lot. We probably need a schoolhouse. Okay. We have 12. You know, I it, it didn't occur to me to look at the top, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. Um, research is almost done. Schoolhouse is not almost done. We need to get that done. I want to get that finished. Uh, but we definitely need stuff. So, yeah, we need, for these guys, we need steel. And I feel like those are the more important rather than iron. I would rather have steel right now. So, guys, steel, please. Steel, go, go. Yeah, going well. Going well, going well. All right, we have the, the gem here delivered. Nice. Oh, oh, I hear, I hear crunching. Hello? Hello? Oh, really? Come on. Come on, man. Oh, this is the crunching. This is the, the chopping, chopping. The chopping has happened. Uh, we are getting much fiber. So I'm wondering if we could, should convert one of these fiber, fiber leaf places to food. The mushrooms are also plentiful in supply as well. So I'm thinking, let's make this sun fruit and make this sun fruit, and then we can change it later if we want to. We have no cloth. Why do we have no cloth? I'm confused by this. I thought we should have... Oh, that's why. <laughs> Imagine that. That's probably why we have no cloth. All right, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna change this back to uh, fiber and mushrooms. Do we need more mushrooms? I don't know. We have this much medicine. Does that mean we have that many mushrooms or is that converted mushrooms? I can't tell. Uh, okay, we also have an issue with stone. We need to have stone being produced here. This one is gems. This one is stone. Let's go ore and more ore. We have two or two stone right now. That is a good thing to get us up there. This is great. Look at this. Oh, oh, we have a new gem here. Hooray. Good, good. Happiness. And then, of course, the other thing that we can do after... You know what? Maybe what I'll do is instead of worrying about these being boost towers first, I think I'll just add a bunch of regular towers here, as in maybe bombardment. Um, we can do a couple of bombards, though I don't know if we need them because these are also going to be bombarding from this side. So the time on the status effect or the, the debuff. Yeah, these are going to be large arrow towers, I feel. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, large arrow tower. Hi. This one can also be a large arrow tower. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Uh, large arrow tower. Hi. Um, this is going to be obviously a blast tower. Uh, confirm. Hi. Yeah, good. Very, very good. So these, do these have their gems? Yeah, no. Yeah, they do. Good. Wow, we're up on gems for sure. So they are looking for what? That one is looking for nothing. Hey, it's been improved. Okay, so this one is steel. 10 steel. Yep, we are really struggling right now with some of the stuff here. But we are getting more charcoal, and I think that's probably where the much of the struggle has been. Research is done, so we can take off the researcher and add a person to... Why is beer being brewed? I'm so confused by this. Wait, I thought I turned off the metery. D isn't that turned off? I think it is. Okay, uh, let's get another uh, teacher. We need another teacher. 
since the school's done. We're going to look at the food places again. Hold on. Let's look at this again. We have school, brewery, none, none. I said none, none, none here as well. I don't know. This is making cooked food and ah, that's right. I want to do none here probably because I made this cookhouse to replace the other one. Huh, I'm so confused. We, we're still getting, um, unless that's the stuff we had before, and I'm just not keeping track of it, well, maybe they can't drink, <laughs> they can't drink the mead without making it into a feast. Wouldn't that be funny? No, no, we refuse to eat this mead or drink this mead because we have no food to pair it with. Bring us some bread. Okay, here we go. 1016 is the next wave, bolstering level 6 golem and an armored troll. Now the bolstering do a shout effect, which literally bolsters or buffs their enemies. I mean their friends, not their enemies, because that would be buffing us and that would probably not be right. I am very happy that we have gotten... Wow, they're stuck there! Oh, staggered in the right spot. That's amazing. So first, first dude died, totally dead. These are trolls, by the way. Hello. Oh, wow. These got armor on. Hello. Nice. Fashion trolls coming down the walkway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, well, this is this is a bit of a joke, isn't it? <laughs> They're too big. They're too big. They're like, no, no, let me first. Let me first. Uh-huh. Now you let me first right into this thing. Why? Why, why, why? Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. That is cool. We are getting Blast Tower here. First time in usage, I believe. I'm not sure. Uh, all right, now we're getting this Blast Tower with lightning effects. Hooray, not lightning, but wind Wind effects. All right, they are deaded. They are completely deaded. I like this. This is so good. Okay, so this is another boost tower. These are boost towers. All right, that's fine. I'm feeling like we're happy now. We're getting stuff. All right. I think there is nothing left that we're upgrading, so I'm going to turn off steel and just make this iron. And then we can make a whole bunch of iron to make those other towers. Oh wow, look at all these houses they've been upgraded! You know what we need to do? I want to make one of these houses into a grand house. It's going to be very expensive, but better, better sleep capacity. Hooray! All right, you get to be a nice house. I'm gonna upgrade these. These are like our longest lived res residents and they're looking up at me with sad eyes saying, but KOS, we've been here forever. We are part of the, what was it called? Which family was it? I can't remember. There's a family that I was like, oh, the Reich Klar. That's the right, the Reich Klar family. And they're like, oh, KOS, why, why you do? We are sad. Okay, these are gonna be transformed into large arrow towers which we can add gems to if we want to. Um, yeah, should be fine. Let's see, this can also be a, a blast tower. Confirm, I. This can also be a blast tower, confirm. I. I love, okay, so I think this is a really good strategy of using the blast towers to apply the movement debuff because if we look at oh 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 things have changed i forgot to let you know about this um yeah stuff is is here but a boost tower or not not that it's um it's the ones that negate each other i think let's see knock back this one has speed reduction and no it's not that one this is damage over time is there another oh stun yeah so there are three of those that have like a a thing that uh, does mm, slowing effects, CC, basically crowd control. So those are really great on these towers that hit everything because then the other towers can get shots in and kill them all dead, which is fantastic. Okay, we're doing pretty well with stuff, a little bit low on ore. Food is going okay. I'm kind of to the point of like, maybe we should go back to the brewing and, and cooking again. So let's do that. Let's go, let's see, here's cooking and then brewing. Sure, do the thing. We are having tons and tons of food right now. 
So I feel like that's a good thing. Oh, here's our school. Students being educated. Many. Okay. Oh, we got a tower built. Hooray. This is good. All right. Hopefully they're going to just keep on delivering stuff here to these to these towers. I'm, I'm so excited about this. It's like, oh my god, things are happening. You can probably hear it in my voice. Uh, it is very thrilling. Okay, 998. We are getting closer to the end game of this thing. Uh, most importantly, we have this passageway, which is going to allow these sh these towers to shoot this way. Uh, most of them have that extra av availability. And if the monsters are dumb enough, they'll come straight down the next side. So let's see what this is going to be like. Okay, okay. These are tougher. Cle Whoa, clearly tougher. Hello. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Help, help. Okay, okay. Wow, okay. They, they, they look like they mean business, you know? They're like carrying their axes in a way that tells me like, yo, they're not messing around here. There is one that's not taking much damage, and I'm a bit worried about that particular one. This one seems to be... Uh, might probably is gonna die. But this one, this one is the, the, ooh, that one's the scary one. He still has armor, full armor on. Jeez. Uh, scary. Okay, first one dead. This one is almost dead. Okay, it looks like we're going to be able to concentrate fire on him, but man, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, these shoot so fast with the boost towers. It's kind of nuts. I kind of wish I had built towers here to take advantage of these boost towers. These are attacks double firing. We might be able to do it though, I don't know. These towers are also boosted, which is kind of great. Because these are the wind boosts. Oh, perfect. Hey. So maybe this is not the play here. Maybe we put these to normal mode. Yeah, let's pause the game here. Put these on normal. I think. And make towers here. This is a much better idea, I feel. So these are what? Attacks double fire. So I'm thinking we want to upgrade these to large arrow towers. Uh, high. Large arrow tower. High. I'll put two to high and then we'll just leave the rest normal. Um, and then here, large arrow tower. I'm always iffy if I should do ones on the end because I don't get benefit from that many of these towers. Like, it, it will only benefit from this boost tower. And also, you lose half the range over here. So I feel like it's better to kind of space them out a tiny bit better. Anyway, we have an amazing, amazing uh, maze here. It's looking great. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the colony is going. So I think this is a good time to kind of uh, finish up this episode and say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.